Uh, did you miss me? Did you miss me? Did you miss your f***ing chef? Chef Von Shine? Huh? Let me get this together. Let me get the sound together. I've been under a lot of pressure. I'd have to get a lot of different business meetings together. Been meeting with a lot of people, a lot of beautiful people down at Smile World TV. That is Smile World TV. That's going to be the Roku channel that I'll be on. How you doing, Miss uh, Rita? Miss Rita, beautiful queen. Is the music okay? I apologize. Jeff Von Schein been doing business. I've been doing business, getting my apparel and things together. I'm sorry, you all, but hey, it's a lot of business whenever you're trying to get things together. But is the music fine, Miss Rita? I'm going to make you shrimp and grits for the night, but I want to make sure that the music is fine first. How you doing, Miss Morgan? How you doing, TT? Is the music fine? I want to make sure that the music fine before I just get going. I'm just trying to make sure the music is okay, Queen. Is it okay? How you doing, Miss uh, Strader? Hopefully I said that correctly. Okay, thank you, Queen. Thank you, Miss Rita. All right, so, Chef Von Shine, as you know, hey, I'm going to be on the uh, Roku channel. So, hey, when you're in the kitchen with Chef Von Shine, you wash your hands first, okay? We're gonna do shrimp and grits tonight. Shrimp and grits, it's gonna be something quick. You know, shrimp is quick, grits are quick. So I said, hey, I, I'll take my time tonight. I ain't, you know, we gonna be quick about it, but hey, you know, I'm gonna talk a little bit too, let you know what's going on. But yeah, what's going on is that uh, your favorite chef is gonna be on the Roku channel. Yes, on SWTV. Then also make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Chef Von Shine. Hmm. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Now, so I've, I've had a few suggestions, so I figured, okay, I'll try to accommodate several suggestions tonight. So, uh, Chef Von Shine is always in the works. So I was working on um, one, one suggestion, which was a soup. So I said, okay, to be sure to give you all the soup, I started out with a chicken stock, okay? Oh, if you remember the uh, the stuffed chicken thighs that I had did the other day, what I did was, in uh, in order to make make sure that the chicken thighs did not go to waste, I went ahead and cooked off some chicken thighs, okay? Which is, this is what we have in here. So this right here was chicken thighs seasoned up. I put rosemary and thyme in it, and then I put a stick of butter, okay? And so at this particular point, when you wanna know what chicken stock is, this is equivalent to chicken stock at this point, okay, ladies and gentlemen? Minus the butter, okay? Minus the butter, we have chicken stock. You can see the uh, rosemary floating at the top and you can see the, uh, ooh, getting a little steamy. <laughs> ooh, my fault, getting a little, <laughs> get hot in the kitchen, see? Now you can see the temperatures, it's hot in the kitchen with Chef Von Shine. Do you all have your food thermometers? Do you have your food thermometer? Cause you're gonna need that as well. So for my soup, Mind you, I'm sitting pretty with a good soup, okay? So this particular thing right here, this is just uh, 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 chicken, granulated chicken uh, bouillon, okay? Use your knuckles, we're not gonna touch the, uh, the handles. Use your knuckles. But I went to the store, I had to do some shopping as well. I got some nice, interesting things that you all are gonna love. Today we're gonna do shrimp and grits because I was, I was suggested to do it. And then I'm also gonna make a, a soup, but uh, I'm just gonna do, just play with a few things. Hey, you with Chef Von Shine, but look forward to the other things I'm gonna be cooking for the rest of the week. So hey, Chef Von Shine had to do a little shopping and then a little networking. So, but this is some chicken granulated bouillon that I'm gonna utilize, or that I did utilize already. Put a little bit of it in there, but mind you, the objective was this. If I would have just took chicken and boiled it off, it would have been equivalent with, to what this season is supposed to offer when you add it to uh, water, to give it some sort of chicken flavor, okay? So we got a chicken stock sitting good, sitting pretty. Oh, and I added uh, uh, celery. I added onions, I added celery, rosemary, and thyme to it. You know, just to kick the flavors around a little bit. Then what I'm going to add while you all are watching will be these yellow potatoes. And then I'm also going to add... Uh, uh, oh, I'm going to also add some green beans to it. And then I'm going to also add some of these... Uh, egg noodles so it's, i mean like now without minus the noodles i could have just strictly made a chicken soup i can add carrots to it whatever else from there and then let it go but hey i don't know what's going on see what i'm saying won't he do it won't he do it but we won't let nothing stop us uh internet bad internet as you can see i've been having technical difficulties with facebook that's because of the internet okay that ain't shut my shine 
That is not Chef Brown Shine. Won't he do it though? Okay. Won't he do it? Hopefully. Well, maybe not. See what I'm saying? It's my music. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. But see, when the enemy try to step in, we're going to keep moving because won't he do it? You with Chef Von Shine. We will not let it not stop. But so the soup, we're going to keep the soup going, but we got to get this jazz going. Come on now. Come on. Don't do me. Got to get that jazz. Can't have it without the jazz. Don't do this. Not today. Won't he do it? See what I'm saying? Try to be here for you all in my jazz station. Come on, Dr. Sax Love. There you go. Come on now. See? Won't he do it? Yeah. See, when you're trying to do the right thing, it's always going to be something to knock you. But see, I'm going to figure this out because I don't care. See? Be patient. When you're in the kitchen with Chef Von Shine, be patient. We ain't in no rush. <laughs> we are not in no rush. Because mind you, we only making grits and shrimp. You know what I'm saying? We won't panic. So, back to what I was telling you all. Back to the soup. Minus the noodles, this would have been a good chicken soup. Okay? I know y'all like, dang, what just happened, Chef Von Shine? So, to bring it back. <laughs> bring it back. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Chicken stock. We started out with just chicken thighs from the other day. Set it in it. Onions, rosemary thyme, celery. And a stick of butter, added a stick of butter to just play on your palate just a little bit. So you say, mmm, Chef Von Shine, what was that? <laughs> the butter? <laughs> I'm trying to make love in the kitchen. <laughs> Won't you do it? Alright. Now, my apologies. You with Chef Von Shine. Things happen. But when things happen in the kitchen, I want you all to see, hey, how we bounce back. Because won't you do it? Iron shop is iron in the kitchen with Chef Von Shine. So for that uh soup. For this particular soup, like I already showed you all, I know you're like, hey, I already seen it a thousand times, but I wanna make sure we had a little hiccup. So, what we're gonna do is cut up this potato, which I'm gonna do now, go ahead and get it in there. I'm gonna wait till the last, till the last minute to go ahead and throw my noodles in. I don't wanna throw my noodles in too much too now, because if I do, they're gonna get too soggy. I want them to be al dente. That means to the tooth, okay? To the tooth. That's Italian for to the tooth. So, for you all that don't know, okay? Let me get my cutting board. I was supposed to have my meats and plies together, but hey, if you've been following Chef Von Shine, then you know Chef Von Shine always got to leave something out, okay? Put you a little rag under your cutting board so that way your cutting board is not sliding all over the place, like so, okay? We want to be able to keep sure to make sure we got a grip, okay? All right, you with Chef Von Shine. So, what do I need to do, you all? Wash my hands. Okay, use non-scented soap. Make sure you all are using non-scented soap because scented soap, ooh, you don't want that in that product. No, you do not. We do not want that in that product. Oh, and then also I want you all to be looking forward to this commercial. Just got done with the commercial. Uh, Crazy Films did an amazing job. Uh, Crazy is a superb producer. He's one of the best guys I ever seen do anything. Music-wise, video-wise, he's amazing. So he's got that commercial done. It actually is done. It just take a little time to load up onto uh, social media, different networks. So that's all that is. I've already saw it. I mean, the <laughs> it is amazing. It is amazing. And you guys are definitely going to uh, enjoy it, as well as other commercials that we're going to be doing uh, weekly to show you how some of these recipes are coming together. Okay? All right. Won't he do it? <laughs> Won't he do it? So... Now, with that being said here, let me rinse off these potatoes. Because like I said, while that soup is doing what it's going to do, I'm going to drop these potatoes in it, and then I'm going to go ahead and get to this uh, to this mix that you all want. But you know what? I'm only do it first and foremost. See, I don't even really make grits, but we're going to make it today. Now, the Catch-22, my spin on grits, someone kept saying, well, I want to see what will be your spin. But the first thing that I'm going to do is this. I'm not going to use plain water at all. So, the water, the, the stock that I already had pretty much going in here, this is a chicken stock, okay? I will use that water. When I keep specifying over and over and over again, never use any plain water, we start with a substance. We start with flavor and then we build from there. So, therefore, what I'm going to do, see, you all would have probably just we read the directions like, okay, it says add two cups of water, Chef Einstein. I'm just going to add two cups of water. No, you don't add the two cups of water. You add two cups of different flavored water, chicken stock. 
okay? Since we're gonna make shrimp and grits. Now mind you, if I wanted to make some beef or something, then I would have used beef stock. But since we're gonna go with shrimps, shrimp, we're gonna go with a chicken stock. So let's see how this works. Uh, empty packing into bowl, add a half a cup of boiling water and stir, cook right into bowl. And a lot of cool stuff, okay. Well, hot water instructions. The hot water instructions say that we can empty a packet into the bowl and only add a half a cup of water and then let the water blow it up. This sounds like some county mix. <laughs> but no, that's the thing about uh, grits and things like that. It's not really that much cooking going on. So therefore, with that being said, yeah, the, these are just, this is basically some uh, butter flavored instant grits, okay? And I'm gonna utilize this uh, hot water instruction method, especially since I've already got boiling water going, okay? Get my bowl out. Get that one packet that it said out. Now mind you, I'm gonna use the chicken stock. That's gonna be the catch 22. That chicken stock already has uh, rosemary, thyme, celery, chicken, uh, onion, other different spices I just played with. Onion powder, sea salt, black pepper, tad bit of seasoning salt, just a tad. But I played with those just a tad bit. So now what's gonna happen with my grits? Mind you, so this flavor, this chicken flavor that's already going on here with the rosemary, the, the thyme, the different herbs already going in that side of that water, that's what's going to kick this off. That's what's going to set my grits off. My grits got herbs in it now, herbs, spices. It, it got original stock, not just because I was trying to create made up stock with this, but I got original stock. So that's what it's going to have. It's the stock, ladies and gentlemen, this whole tutorial is really about stock because it's that flavor that's going to make my grits and it's going to take the butter that's already been inside of that stock too that's going to coat your mouth and make you say chef on shine what, why do you make the simple things and it still tastes better than i've ever had it's because i'm trying to play with that mouth i know what i'm doing i know what you're lying okay half a cup of water let's get back to it okay half a cup of water let me get it all right did you miss me? I just want to know, did you miss me? I missed y'all. I missed y'all. I was doing business. I said, where are my people, my kings and queens? How you doing? How you doing, auntie? How you doing, son? Hey, your dad been busy. I've been busy. I got things going on here. I've been speaking with the people about uh, at the SWTV Nation, uh, Network. I'm sorry. We're going to be on the Roku channel, son. <laughs> Won't he do it? So, hey, Half a cup of water, it said all we're gonna do is take that instant thing and add a half a cup of water to it. So mind you, I told you I'm gonna add a half a cup of chicken stock, okay? Oh, this has a little minced garlic in it. Now look at this. So imagine right here, right here, you see this. This is what I'm adding to it. This is gonna be my half a cup of water. That's number flavor, okay? You all would've probably just added just plain water. Okay, Chef Ashan, this this is this the trick to my grits right here. This 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 right here gonna be it because it said just add a half a cup of water to the grits. Okay, now if it needs any more, I'll, I'll play with it a little more. But this is gonna be something quick. Then what I'm gonna do is once it get thick and get to where I want it. Then I add the cheese. But as of right now, the purpose of this is to make sure that I'm getting nothing but flavor. See, so therefore, now, what I got now, not only is flavor, but instead of it just being plain white, we got buttered up grits. It's already, that's what, uh, if you look at, uh, my stock, I told you, I dropped a stick of butter in there. I dropped a stick of butter in there. So therefore, once again, we can add a little bit of uh, butter inside of that water and be able to cre create that uh, consistency that I was going for whenever it hits your palate. It's more smoother, it coats your mouth, okay? All right. See, when you and Chef Shine, we go about flavor. So right now, this is rosemary, thyme, onion, a uh, little minced garlic, uh, little herbs and different spices, etc., that was already in that water. So therefore, that's what our grits are cooking off in. So that this, these are flavored grits. Let's taste it. See what I'm saying? You would have sat here all day 
messing with your grits, trying to put salt, pepper, this, that. Oh my. Look, I ain't big on grits. That that's crazy. I ain't even big on grits. Somebody come over here and try this. I'm not big on grits. I'm not, but this, oh God. That's cr I'm going nuts with this. With this, with this shrimp, I'm going, let's go. Let's go. Let me cut these potatoes up. Mind you, I told you I had to get that soup going. That's game time. I like that. That's sexy. See, that's what I was saying. I wanted to hit your mouth real good. So look, here, I'm going to cut these up real good. I got to get that going. I'm ready to eat that. Oh, man. Mm. I, mean, I ain't, <laughs> you know, usually I talk a little bit. I'm going to get that going. That was actually real good. Real good. All right. So what I'm going to do now is cut these potatoes up. Whenever uh, these potatoes have cooked off, I'm uh, dicing them up in this size so that it could cook off a lot faster. Ooh, if that tastes, if the grits taste like that, oh, imagine what the potatoes would taste like. That's why I like to incorporate potatoes. Potatoes is a good um, uh, vegetable to be able to soak in a lot of different flavors. So, you know, some things you will cook off, let's say, for instance, these green beans. If I don't, if I cook these off too fast, when you taste them, you, you, you get, it get lost in there. So I add things at a specific time. So therefore you can get the kick from all of them. So therefore, like the noodles, I'm going to add them at the very last 12 minutes that I'm going to need for them to cook off. So therefore, they're still al dente. I'm going to add the green beans just a tad bit prior to it because I still want them to have a freshness to them as well because they have already cooked off. But these potatoes, we're going to have to let those cook, okay? Stay with me. Won't he do it? All right, won't he do it? So we're dicing those up. We got to get this going because those grits are going to be amazing. I want you all to be like, whoo, Chef Rashad did it! With the shrimp and grits. See, hopefully you already like, I didn't think of that, Chef Von Sean. I would have never thought to cook my grits like this because you all wanted to see, well, what was the twist? The twist is what I just said. The uh, chicken stock. That's pretty much it. Flavored up chicken stock, okay? Therefore, we're not dealing with plain water. I would have made that, that same stock uh, my macaroni. Someone asked me about macaroni. My macaroni, same thing. Same thing, even macaroni noodles, I would have cooked it off into that, uh, to that, to that same uh, water substance just to give it flavor. We don't want nothing plain in the kitchen. We shut one shot. So, our grits, grits sitting off, they sitting pretty, all right. So that's what I was saying. Flavored grits, that's what we were going for. So now, it's about taking the shrimp. Now mind you, my catch 22 on the shrimp is this. As always, guys, get, uh, Get raw, peeled shrimp with the tail on. This is the way we can still keep it a little sexy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, somebody said they wanted to see me take a cherry and tie, uh, and tie it with my tongue. Y'all want to see me do it with the shrimp? Imagine if I take the shrimp and if I could tie it with my tongue. I could tie this up with my tongue. <laughs> no. <laughs> Y'all nasty. Okay? My mama watch. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. I got talking to my mama. <laughs> my mama told me, she said, son, put a shirt on. You got to start. You too professional. I said, mama, I am professional. Now I'm doing it now. Won't he do it? All right. So <laughs> keep the, the shrimp raw <laughs> and uh, the tail on, okay? Keep the tail on so we can. So at the end, when I bring them together and let them marinate, I can let the design. Don't that look like a design in itself? That's why I like to keep the tail on. That way when I play though. See? Alright. Alright. You shove on shine. <sighs> Alright. Let me set my skillet at a medium high heat and get this grease going so y'all can be like, ooh, what you finna do? See, would have been a nice good thing for me to do with this shrimp would been to fry it. Okay? But hey, it might be something that somebody wants for breakfast. Somebody may want something. Else. Hey, whatever you want, it's okay. So then also would it be a good idea too is this. Uh take some cheese. Take my cheeses, doctor it up as well, so which is what I'm gonna do too. But uh, I wanna wait, I wanna wait because once again, I want the cheese to be a little bit of garnishing as well as flavor. I don't always just add things just to make it look good. I like to put things at a specific time. That's why you all, whenever I plate up, I don't sometimes plate up right in front of you because depending on what I'm doing, it may require me to wait for that right time. Like for instance, with the uh, caramel that I made, I was trying to get it to where it was a consistency. I needed to make sure it was at a time where I can spread it. Because if I rushed it, then it's just gonna do what it did the last time with that video, and it coagulated. And then at that point, you seen it was too hard. I know you don't mind it being too hard, but uh, <laughs> won't he do it? 
What you doing? How you doing, Miss Vegas? How you doing? Hey, Miss Vegas. Hey, I want you to watch this. I'm doing shrimp and grits. I want your spin on it because I know that you're a phenomenal chef. You gave me some real good advice as far as plating up. So I just want to show you something real quick, Miss Vegas. So for this right here, for a particular dish like this, I'm going to do shrimp and grits. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean off this edge and I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. This will be uh, what I did with this. I've already had a chicken stock I had cooked off. But what I'll do with something like this, Miss Vegas, I'll take a syrup and I'll come around with the syrup. And then I'll uh, take some cheese, or at, ra rather take the cheese, sprinkle the cheese first, come around with the syrup, and then come back with the uh, shrimps on top of it. See? See, Miss Vegas? Then that way, if I want to add yellow cheese or maybe even some green onions or tomatoes at that point, whatever, just to add those different colors just to make it be a little bit more uh, vibrant. But, uh, yeah, we got our oven set at medium-high heat. For these grit, for these shrimp, I want them to be a little light, so I ain't gonna add no uh, grease to it. Just gonna put a little spray. But mind you, I already got some non-stick skillets, so that's not a big issue. But for the seasoning that I'm using is this. Now, for zatarans, for my fans who like like it a little spicy, I'm gonna kick it up a notch. Put a little old bay. I'm gonna go with the green garden veggie blend just cause hey, I like vegetables and there is no vegetables in this. Put a little smoked paprika, a little accent, sea salt, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, onion powder and uh, black pepper. Now, I always got my champion chicken out, but then I said to myself, well, you know what, Chef Ronshine? These people want shrimp. We're not, we don't give them shrimp today. Today is for my seafood uh, fans. If you like seafood, we're gonna keep it for the sea. If you don't, this, this, this just won't be for you. I'm always trying to incorporate uh, champion chicken and utilizing different chicken bouillons, so therefore I can take away from that fishiness and that seafood taste that a lot of people don't like. But we're not, we, we, today, it's all about shrimp, okay? You want the shrimp to taste like shrimp, not chicken nuggets, okay? Not today, not today, okay? Now, so, I'm gonna saute these off. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, while I got that going, you know what I'm gonna give me? A little bit of butter. See, Chef Von Shine, gotta miss something. Grab me a little bit of butter. Hold on. So, I mean, like I said, with the shrimp, if I wanna make those spicy, and I know y'all like Chef Von Shine, you over there grabbing stuff, you better do something. You know what you better do? I got you. See, I want to make sure that y'all paying attention. Who out there told Chef Von Shine to wash his hands? How you doing, uh, Antoine, Brother Antoine? Miss Noonan, how you doing? Is that uh, Miss Gertrude Richards? That's what I'm saying. You always check in with me, Queen. I like that. I love it. I love it. I love the support. Support. You know, at the end of the day, I've been speaking with these companies about my apparel, about my, uh, my aprons and my hats. And uh, potentially, you know, like I said, having me on the SWTV channel, that Smile World TV. Okay, you all? Yeah, Chef Von Shine is going to be on Smile World TV. This is a local Roku channel, okay? So that's what I've been just taking some time with, having to work those things out, get commercials done. It's a lot of things that I have to get done that I wouldn't, I didn't, I didn't know it was going to be all that. But won't he do it? <laughs> won't he do it? I mean, especially when you're trying to do things by yourself and try to make it all happen. Sometimes, hey, you just got to make it happen. All right, we ain't gonna complain, we're just gonna make it happen. All right, we got a little butter in our skillet. Here, let me, let me grab something so that I can show you. Put a little butter in my skillet. All right, I already put the potatoes and I already got that chicken stock going. Mind you, I told you, I'm making a chicken soup on top of this fish, uh, shrimp and grits. That soup is for you all. Now, mind you, I don't have to add the noodles. At this point, we got a chicken and potato soup, okay? The more I keep adding it, the more it's gonna turn into something else. Hell, if I add heavy whipping cream, it'll make it a lot more creamier. That's when we'll get into a more of like a, um, more of something like this. This creamy uh, chicken soup. See, if I was going for something like it, cause that's more thicker, it's more concentrated, okay? So what happens there is I would add butter, maybe at different things like uh, cornstarch or whatever, or even these potatoes. I could smash up some of these potatoes and throw more of them in there and it's gonna thicken it up. It's just about thickening it up the consistency. All right, see, you and Chef Von Shine? Depending on what we wanna do, whatever our soup, if we wanna make condensed chicken soup, then guess what we do? We take this, right? Condensed soup is nothing more than this being able to cook off and become uh, a reduction. It's a reduction at that point, it's reducing. The water is coming down, it's reducing, so it's becoming concentrated. Like that orange juice that you all used to drink, or maybe still drink. 
where it's just in that little concentrated thing and you put it in a pitcher and add water, that's because it's concentrated. Now it becomes more, okay? So, take a little bit of that. Shrimp had a little bit of water in there. All right, see this gonna be a time I add the Zatarans. I want a little bit of spice. I want a little bit of spice, but I'm gonna add this Zatarans, but I'm gonna add something to it with it. Brown sugar, brown sugar. Before I do anything, I'm gonna kick my sweet and spice off. I went real light with this Zatarain, real light. You're giving me some hearts out there. A little bit of that water out there. Hold on. Do it, Chef Vashon. Not too much. You know, usually I don't do sugar, but this time, brown sugar. Brown sugar. Because the reason why I went with brown sugar, because I'm gonna already utilize syrup. I'm gonna come back around with the syrup, so it's already gonna be a little bit of sweet and savory. Mind you, we're going for the umami. Okay, that sweet and savory. And now since I kicked it up with the Zatarans, I'm gonna turn it up a notch and put a little spice in it. What's going on, Jamar? What's going on, Brother Reed? How you doing, Miss Johnson? Listen, shrimp and grits. I think that was you who asked me about the shrimp and grits. Okay, how you doing, uh, Miss Johnson? Brother Johnson, I can't tease you, tease you, Johnson. Angie, Miss Angie, hey, bye-bye. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna stop messing with you. You told me to stop messing with your people. I Hopefully that don't offend you, uh, Queen. I do know you are of Spanish descent, and hopefully that doesn't offend you. If it does, then I'll stop, because I'm not here to offend anyone. Not Chef Von Shine, not, not, not at all, but he will do it. Won't he do it? All right, that's to you, Miss Angie. I apologize if it offends you. Hopefully you can get a laugh out of Papa. She's Spanish. She, I went to school with her. She's, uh, she's Spanish. She told me she didn't like my Spanish jokes. I said, hey, Papa. She said, I didn't like that. I said, all right, Miss Angie. All right, all right. Her name is Miss Angie, too. That's her name on Facebook, Miss Angie. That means she don't play. Who named they self? Miss Angie, okay? My mama named Angie, and she ain't even called herself Miss Angie. <laughs> Won't she do it? <laughs> she tried it. All right. Shout out to Angie. Hopefully I didn't offend you, queen. Because like I said, you know, Chef Ashton is not here for that. All right, I'm sorry. I should have told y'all what I had. All I did at that point was just add a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder. <clears throat> and uh, at this point, I've only added butter. Butter, a little bit of the Zatarans, and uh, Obey. Obey. Gonna add some salt and pepper. Not too much salt. A little accent too. To accentuate it. A little accentuate it. Accent to accentuate it. A little smoked paprika. So smoke it out. And to put a little color on it, just because I want it to be sexy and red like it's a velvet cake. <laughs> sexy. Okay. Let's see what else I want to do. Oh, black pepper. Be a good time to add me a little black pepper. Sit back and let it do. That's the thing I like about shrimp. I mean, hey, you can be just light with it and it and it come out right, or you can do too much and be like, man, what is this? What is this? What is this? Okay. Okay. So at this point, you see what I'm saying? So look, show you all look all nice and sexy. Just something real nice to coat it. Now, ideally, this would have been ideal for me to uh, fry them. But for this particular dish, I was wanting, especially I would have fried it only just to have a different texture going into the grits. Because the grits are already something creamy. It's already thick in itself. So I'm like, well, to give it another flavor of crispiness inside of something that's already smooth, it would be ideal for myself. But, uh, yeah, well, you with Chef Von Shine. So what we're gonna do is this. Now, mind you, with the grits, I already took chicken stock that I already had going on over here, all right, that I got going with my chicken soup. It already had rosemary, thyme, onion, celery, uh, stick of butter, different herbs, I mean, di different other spices just to give it a nice kick. And that was what I utilized to cook off my grits. That was the spin on the grits. For you all that's just tuning in, it was a spin off on my grits. I used chicken stock. I didn't, I, at this point, I haven't put absolutely nothing in these grits. But you already see that it has a flavor, I mean, a, a color and everything, all from the stock. That's flavor, okay? That's flavor. So that's, that's my twist. That is my twist. That's the only twist I could give you on shrimp and grits. I mean, it ain't nothing but cooking off grits. But it, it's making sure we have a flavored grit, not just any grit. Because then that's way you all used to getting plain grits that you got to add salt, pepper, cheese, food, 
uh, uh, syrup, grape jelly, anything just to make it taste like something. This right here, you can eat my grits off the top. You gonna eat this like, ooh, Chef Marshawn, this almost tastes like mashed potatoes, anything that's savory, okay? Now, cause we're going with shrimp, shrimp is savory, okay? <laughs> Won't he do it? <laughs> Won't he do it? Right. That's what all that, the, the, the salt and pepper was gonna do to the grits once you got the incorporating it. It was just gonna make it a little savory. Chef Vashon saved you the time. As soon as it get on your table, I want you to get it going. Like, ooh, Chef Vashon. Like, you ain't gonna add a little salt and pepper? I don't need it. I don't need it, Chef Vashon. When you cook, I just go with it. Because you know what you're doing. See, when you're in the kitchen with me, you know what you're doing. See, you all the other chefs. You are the kings and queens. You are chefs as well. Did you all enjoy your weekend? I had to do a lot of business this weekend. I want to know that all my kings and queens out there enjoy you all weekend. Was you safe? You know, you all made it back in to get back with Chef Von Shine. That's what it's all about. These weekends I have to take off so therefore I could go shopping. You know, Chef Von Shine got to do a little shopping, do a little decor for you all. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. But you know, hey, it's only 24 hours in a day. And Chef Von Shine got to be able to get in tune with you. But I wanted to make sure I had got that big business out of the way that was with the SWTV channel. I had to take some time to get that handled. I mean, I was trying to do this and do that at the same time. And you you got some 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 got to give to make something happen. So hopefully you all are patient with me and understand, hey, I'm a one man working this all out, but the Heavenly Father is working it out. You know, you got my father, Joe Wayne. You say that name and put some respect on it. You're working it out. The Heavenly Father is definitely blessing me. I've been telling my mama, hopefully my father up there, and he's working it out. All right? All right. That's what we pray for. We pray for faith. We pray to have faith. Don't you believe? If you believe, then at the end of the day, then you got to know the Heavenly Father is working this up, bro. You can see it. That's why you all like, well, what's going on with Chef Bosh? It's just a lot, the Heavenly Father. When you, when you let the Heavenly Father take control and you just say, hey, Jesus, take the wheel. I'm literally, I'm like, Jesus, take the wheel. Any boy you know me, just know like, hey, this is so random. What is going on with him? I let Jesus take the wheel. I ain't, at this point, we're in the middle of a pandemic. I don't think a lot of us know which direction to go. But I know one thing, you sit back and you say, hey, Heavenly Father, take the wheel. Won't he do it? <laughs> Won't he do it? That's why I'm ending up in these scenarios that I don't even have a clue. Running into the people that I'm running into, I, I can't make this stuff up. I can't. <laughs> Won't he do it? Won't he do it? I'm just saying I can't make this stuff up. You hear me? But listen, man, prayer, prayer, faith, it all comes together. All right, so listen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, he will. Won't he do it? All right. So, listen. Uh, all right. So, got my shrimp. Grab, I'm going to grab this. Okay. Got my shrimp cooked off. Got my shrimp sitting nice and pretty. Got my grits sitting here nice and pretty. Now, mind you, we're going to clean off that rim. This would be a good time. I'll go ahead and come back like I told you all. Come back with the syrup. Uh, incorporate the cheese. Come back with the shrimp. Make them sexy. Make them go ahead and... <laughs> lock up that's what i do on my pictures i don't know if you all be noticing but sometimes with my pictures what i do is i take different um things and i try to make them go up to create a focal point so like even with these shrimp i'm gonna tie them in so therefore hopefully they can sit up as opposed to just sitting the shrimp flat anytime i do anything with my plate up i want it to have a focal point so therefore it has height to it as much height as is possible so uh that's what's going to happen from here Play my shrimp and grits up. That was my spin on. Uh, you know, as usual, I'll show you all my plate up afterwards. But uh, Chef Von Shine is still in the kitchen. You got to know Chef Von Shine is in the kitchen, but I got to handle business. As you can see, I kept mentioning about my aprons. Still was trying to take time and getting it done. Talking about my hats and different apparel. So, uh, Miss Manje, I've been working with her. Miss Manje is the one that's over the... Uh, the department is gonna be handling all of that. So Ms. Manje, as well as the SWTV and Junior Billionaires, they also was working with Chef Von Shine to make things happen. We're gonna go global. But you know, as always, to make things happen, you gotta take a little time off. So I've been networking with them and handling business. So won't he do it? Won't he do it? But I'm back in the kitchen with you. I got some beautiful dishes for you all this week. Stay tuned in. This week I have some very exclusive things. So, so to wrap it back up, bring it back. The chicken stock, okay? The chicken stock started out, already had that going. So this has the chicken thighs that was from the other day. I put celery in it, onions, garlic powder, minced garlic, a stick of butter, uh, salt, pepper, onion powder, onion powder, uh, rosemary and thyme, 
let that cook off, which was a good stock for me. I used that whole entire chicken stock, literally, and poured it inside of this grits. That's it, which giving me this, uh, this, this color in my grits already. This looked like uh, savory grits in itself. Uh, I'm gonna add maybe a stick of butter to it. May actually not. I got too much butter going on. I don't want to get nobody high cholesterol. Uh, so, you know, like I said, go ahead, come back with the uh, syrup, come back with the cheese, add the shrimps, plate it up, maybe drop a green onion or so in there to get a little life, really bring some green. Hey, make it do what it do. Oh, and also with this chicken stock, I put uh, yellow potatoes in it. So now, since the potatoes been cooking off for a substantial amount of time, I've been talking for a minute. Um, this would be a good time where I could go ahead and throw in the uh, green beans. Let them cook off, kick in, kick in a little bit more of that flavor. And take my time, mind, mind you, I want to wait to the very last 12 minutes before I go ahead and throw in these uh, these uh, egg noodles. Because I want them to be al dente. So if you all like egg noodles, the reason why y'all egg noodles get broken up and get soggy is because you let them cook for too long. They're overcooked. Period. I know you like, well, chef, I, I, I put my noodles on longer than that. I know, that's why your noodles are overcooked. I tried your chicken noodles. The noodles were broken all up and stuff like that. Trust me, I know, because they were overcooked. When I, my noodles will still be intact because they're not going to be overcooked and they're not going to be soft. Because I'm going to wait 12 minutes to get them to be al dente to the tooth. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? So, yeah, and then from there, I'm going to finish up my plate with the shrimp and grits and, uh, yeah. So stay tuned in. Tomorrow, I got some real nice, real sexy for you all. That's going to be tomorrow, okay? I ain't forgot about you. Stay tuned in with Chef Von Shine. Won't he do it?